よっしゃ Last time on Fighters High. Self-proclaimed world's most gorgeous man, Rocco Savat has his sights set on Cassie, but Rocco thinks there's someone standing in his way. I heard you're dating a new student, a dumb kid. Where is he? I wish to destroy him and make him my new woman. Actually, I gotta get to class. Cassie wants nothing to do with him. Tori devises a plan to make Adam fall for her so Rocco can have Cassie. Tommy does not like the idea of anyone with Cassie, so he and Billy go on a school-wide search to find Rocco and give him a message. Stay away from Cassie, pretty boy, or it's a trip to the nurse's office, and we all know how bad that can be. Or the spoolies. What Rocco wants, Rocco gets. Tori, after many failed attempts to seduce Adam, finds a way to create a rift between Adam and Cassie. Oh, Adam, you just made me the luckiest girl in school. Cassie, this is not what it looks like. Unfortunately, it worked. Then Rocco finally finds Adam and challenges him to a fight for Cassie's affections. You love this buffoon, do you accept? Who's gonna win the fight? Draw. Find out next on Fighters High Extracurricular Battles. Rocco, what are you doing? This is ridiculous. He's not my boyfriend. Apparently, he and Tori have something going on. But like I said before, I'm not interested in you. Here we go again with this crazy talk. But it does not matter if the challenge has already been laid down. And I accept it. And Cassie, for the record, she kissed me. I had no idea she was going to do that. Whatever you thought it was, it, it wasn't that. What is this, the creek of Dawson? You mean Dawson's creek? It does not matter. Enough talking. Actually, no. Do you two have any last words for each other before I sever those ties forever? It's a question you should be asking yourself, Rocco. <laughs> Gaki, aren't we? <laughs> Look who's talking. <laughs> Alright, listen. This is what we're going to do. We're going to go to the dojo and this is where it's going to be set. Fighters High は IXO Studios と Team Fist Styles の提供でお送りしますどうぞお楽しみください
to class. Now! You three, stay here. Putting it into a body bag. What, did Tommy finally give you the okay to have something witty to say? You second-rate lackey? What did you just call me? Do you want to get beat up again? Anytime. Come on. Right now! Settle down. You three are embarrassing yourselves with your actions here. The Bully Club. Tommy Wong and Billy Evans. The two-time reigning ECB champions. Let me ask you something. Do I look like a pushover? Do you think I'm gonna allow anyone to come into my academy and disrespect everything that I've built? If anyone should know better than that, waste such an epic battle on some preliminary battle, instead of bringing it to the grand stage of the ECB tournament. It's you two. Three weeks detention. Back to class. Oh, God, that's good. Adam King, I haven't even started with you yet. Adam, I know you're new here and you don't have a full grasp of how things go here at J.D. Oliver Academy, but wasting a war like that outside of the tournament, it's, well, it's just criminal. But I, an empty battle like that would be an insult to someone of your level of martial talent. You may not realize it, but you have a gift that's beyond the comprehension of many people that attend this school. You're at this school to define a new identity for yourself. We all know what happened at Stone Grove High School. Sir, I was just defending myself. I didn't mean for- I know. But it did happen. They didn't know what to do with you after that. But I did. Being transferred here was the best thing for you. You have unlimited potential, Adam. I'm not sit idle by and let that go to waste. You're destined for great things here at J.D. Oliver Academy. There's so much about yourself that you're not aware of yet. We're going to help you reach the potential that we know you're capable of. Three weeks attention. Back to class. Hey son, you like you got a lot on your mind. Wanna tell me what's bothering you? I'm really just trying to make it through everything here. There's so many clubs and they're all vying for my attention and I don't even know if I want to join any of them. I know it's tradition, but I really don't care. All I care about is getting my hands on a certain club at the tournament. Who are you, by the way? Me? I'm just a humble janitor that goes by the name of Hanzo Jackson. Uh, thanks, Mr. Jackson. So what can you tell me about the ECB tournament, then? Oh, the extracurricular battle tournament. Oh, man, that's the heart and soul of this school, brother. But if you don't belong to a club, you ain't fighting. Have you picked a club yet? Nah. Man, that's going to cause a problem. What about all these clubs that's been asking you to join? And just link up with one of them. I don't know, Mr. Jackson. All these clubs, are, they got crazy costumes and all that stuff. It's really out there for me. Kid, everything about this school is out there. 
but it's all for a good cause. But if you do decide to join a club in an ECB tournament, the club to look out for is the Bully Club. Man, they had a lock on this tournament since they got to this school. Yeah, I've had my run-ins with uh, Mr. Whispers and his mouthpiece. Oh, it's just like that's the certain club you were talking about, huh? Yeah, just be careful though, because you probably already found out. They're two of the baddest fighters I've ever seen come out of this school in a long time. And another person you need to watch out for, Principal Steven Otto Baxter. You do know what the other kids call him, right? Yes, Mr. Jackson. Do tell us what the student body refers to the headmaster as. Oh, I was just telling this fine young man what an outstanding gentleman that Mr. Baxter is. You know, a fine example of a man. Uh, a, a gentleman, if you so to speak. A guy that's really trying to shape this school into uh, one of the best institutions. Find your way to your next class, Mr. Kane. Anyway, it was nice meeting you, son. Anytime you want to talk, you know where to find me. I remember that, thanks. in the last year. Your evaluators are none other than the coach and one other, a man who needs no introduction. But he wants the coach to give it anyway. I give you our esteemed principal, Baxter. Extracurricular battles or ECB tournament is the single most important event here at JD Oliver Academy. It separates us from the other schools. Now, I expect nothing but the absolute best from each and every one of you 
in the coming months before the tournament begins. Ms. Malice and I are working hard to make sure that this new generation lives up to our high standards. Looking at this group, I'm not sure if I should be impressed or if I should call the janitor to come and sweep away some of this unworthy garbage. And above all else, Ms. Scott, you have a legacy to maintain with the HCMA. So I'll be paying special attention to what you have to show us today. I could rattle off a long list of accomplishments and battles that I've been through, but I'll let my actions speak for themselves. I wait with bated breath. Do not disappoint me. Jabronis, the coach has some good news and some bad news. The coach saw some real deal talent today. He saw some of you having the talent to break bones and backs. And as for the rest of you, bunch of Rudy Pooh rejects, if you had joined the Pro Wrestling Club, you have the knowledge of an arsenal of moves ready to take out your opponent. And the remainder of the evaluations will be held by our esteemed principal and Miss Malice. Thank you, Coach. I cannot stress enough the reputation that I expect each and every one of you to live up to. J.D. Oliver Academy will only represent the pinnacle of martial arts. And I will let no one sully that reputation or my vision for the future of J.D. Oliver. You may have everyone else here convinced that you're something special, a one of a kind, but you are nowhere near the level of your mother, or even that sister of yours. You're right, Miss Malice. I'm not my mother or my sister. And I don't want to be. I choose my own path. Miss Malice. Yes, sir, coming. I'll be watching you, Ms. Scott. Yeah. Trust the two pillars of Tai Chi shadow boxing. You will unleash the fury of the log step madness if you continue your endless prattling. <laughs> 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 you did. Did you kill our man? 
Chester? Did you steal our temple sign? Do you possess the cunning of the Midnight Jaguar? <laughs> okay, I'm going to walk myself this way. Walking this way, away from you two. Walking away. Walking. Still walking. Yo, where's Ronan? Man, you know him. He's on one of his nature walks, but we'll find him somehow. Dude, last time he was in a field calling himself Princess Puffle Stuff, and he was having a tea party with all the nature animals. That's a sad, sad day. It was kind of fun. Oh, it was fun, I love it. But this year, man, this is our year. We're going from the underdog status in ECB tournament to the royalty that we truly are. You best believe it, son. The shows are just a stepping stone. We're going all the way this year. Oh, yeah. Word. Kimberly. Old Rocco, he's in much pain. Oh, Rocco. Uh oh. You think you can just crawl back to me after you two-timed me? Think again! It's SOB. Run. What? It's what we call the principal. SOB, Stephen Otto Baxter. Get him. Hanzo, the janitor, told me to pass it along. You did, huh? SOB. It's yeah. messed up. Okay. We're, we're horrible. Listen. That about that thing with Rocco and Tori. It's, it's cool. No, they were both in the wrong. It's no harm done. Don't worry about it. No harm done. I, um, look, you got in a huge fight with the bully club and Rocco, and let's face it, they did a number on you. And then you got to release the pension. That's a lot of harm done. And I, I just, I feel like it was my fault. That's cool, Cass. This thing between Tommy and me is bound to happen sooner or later. Just gotta. Get myself ready to face him in the tournament now. How? Clubs can only enter the tournament. Did you join a club? No. Then how are you going to enter the tournament? I'm just start my own club. Next time on Fighters High. You're going to pay for what you did, Kane. Dude, it's the last week of school. Can I please get through it so I don't have to deal with you for the next three months?